What's going on y'all? It's your boy Nicholas and welcome back to Nick's Dynasty. Going to do another video talking about some food truck stuff but it's also going to mesh together some credit card and travel stuff because you know when you're a business owner you can get points and with these points you can travel with so let's talk about what kind of points I might generate as a small business owner running my food truck. What are we accumulating with this business? Is it is it a nice little side hustle with the credit card just from spending that we normally do? So we're going to talk about the ink cards first because these are supposed to be the big point earners but I'm actually not using them right now. I have the Chase Ink ca uh, Cash Card and the Chase Unlimited Ink Card. The Unlimited one is kind of like the Freedom Unlimited 1.5% or 1.5x back on all purchases. And for the Ink uh, Cash one, we get one point for all purchases. Then I get four points for cable, phone, and other stuff. Uh, and I believe it's supposed to be two points for gas, but on this statement, it says something about one point per gas, but on the Chase website, it says two per gas, but I, I don't buy gas on these cards. But uh, both these cards combined, we actually only brought in 128 points. So a lot of these points came from the 4% uh, four point cash back. I'm not really sure what the purchases were, but it's $75. 75 points worth of the four point per dollar and then the rest of the one point The way I like to redeem these points makes it a little bit elevated and so the value of these 128 points I perceive them as three dollars and 46 cents or 45 cents uh, so that's actually a uh, calculates to almost three percent back for those purchases. It's not totally uh, four percent back because not everything was in those four point uh, categories, but that I read, I value my chase points around two point seven five uh, cents per point. So that's when I'm transferring it to another place and using it to get elevated value. Normally, you might have like a travel portal where you can get one point two five cents per point if you use a Chase Sapphire preferred. With the ink, I have to check to see if that's the value, but I do transfer it to my personal side. And I believe I'm going to get maybe 3% back value from all these points from the ink cards. But uh, I have one more business card, so we're going to talk about what points I got from there. And we'll talk about the value because I'm getting a little bit more value on this side, I do believe. From this statement on this next card, it looks like I put $1,888 on this card. Those are new purchases, and we're actually getting a whopping 61,518 points from this card. Whoa, I spent $1,888, and I'm getting over 61,000 points for this, you dig? If you're interested in any of these cards, the link will be in the description below. Just make sure everything makes sense for you. Don't just get a card just because. Now that sounds like a lot of money right there. So basically I got 1,518 points from my everyday spending category. And this actually brought us to reach our bonus, our sign up bonus. This is a new card for the world of Hyatt business cards. So we got 60,000 points for I believe spending six thousand dollars in three or four months I made it whatever the bonuses is it probably is four months it could be three but I tried to rush it all but that is the big reason why I got so many points is because we did a sign-on bonus that's one thing about getting cards you can get this huge amount of points in the beginning just by signing up for it and then afterwards it's kind of just like small points here and there maybe at the end of the year or end of the quarter depending on what your spending level you can get a maybe a trip out of or so but we have to always say if you're not a credit card person don't get credit cards you always need to pay off your statement balances if you're going to have credit cards otherwise you're losing the money that you're getting from the points because you're paying interest and we don't want to pay interest we avoid interest so let's look at the value of these points with Hyatt. So I'm gonna stay with that two 
and three quarter cent per point. Uh, I was transferring my chase points to Hyatt to get elevated value, and these are gonna be Hyatt points straight up. And you probably could get some value at like uh, some redemptions at three cents per point, but I'm gonna stick with a little bit over two, less than three. So that's 61,000 points if it's uh, two and three four cents per point is $1,660 in value, which is a nice, that's a nice couple of trips right here. You can go to all-inclusive resorts for like 30,000 points per, uh, per night, so you can get two all-inclusive. At the base level, you can get a 5,000 point redemption for like a Hyatt Place or a Category 1 or 2 hotel, so you can get a good amount of stays with that. Mid tier twelve thousand, even a higher tier at twenty thousand, you can get uh, a few of those like that. So uh, depending on how many, uh, what type of places you like to do, is depending on how many nights you can get. But my last trip, I went to an all inclusive resort and spent thirty thousand points for that, and that came from the sign on bonus right there. So uh, that is a big reason why. I have a lot of points this month because of the sign-on bonus. If we look at the value of the points where I get from my everyday spending, we had a little bit over 1,646 points. The value I get from those points is over $45, so not bad. Um, nothing um, super absorbent. I'm not spending a terrible amount of money on these cards, I believe, like I said, it's $1,600 worth of spending on these cards. Other businesses maybe spend a little bit more, spend a little less, so it just depends on what your business is. But basically, I got $45 back from the spending that I did. So on my bookkeeping thing, it says that I spent $2,390 in June. Not all of this is be able to go on credit cards. Some stuff has to be electronically taken out of my bank account. So um, this is how much I spent and this is how much points I received and this is the value right here. Uh, if you're a small business owner, Look into getting credit cards, getting money back, using those points for travel. If you're not paying yourself, you can take these points and use it as payment and go on trips. Um, if you're interested in any of these cards, the link will be in the description below. Just make sure everything makes sense for you. Don't just get a card just because. Um, but always pay off your credit card. And if you do, these points can take you places.